hi guys oh, welcome to another video today's video we are creating a soft smoky neutral eye using affordable products as usual just something simple that beginners can um, accomplish like myself so yeah if you want to see what i used and how i created this look then make sure you keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys okay guys first i had to put some of my Alta lip oil. I think this is the pineapple flavor. Best ten dollars ever. Alta brand um, lip oil. I put that on every day before I start doing my makeup, so I know my lips are moisturized. And then I'll take my Elf Cookies and Dream. I'm scraping the bottle. As you can see, I am so sad, <laughs> and I had to show y'all my empty bottle. My first empty makeup related anything i think <laughs> so i'm just putting that all over my face i already have a backup of this primer so i know i'm good and then i decided to take the elf mattifying primer just to mix things i don't know i'm obsessed with mixing things i like to mix things and that's just what it is <laughs> then i take my mac paint pot and not laying low and put that in my smile lines with just a random brush and i always put it on with a brush first and then use my fingers and i have a little situation on my forehead right now so i thought maybe if i put some paint pot on it that would like calm it down a little bit I don't know if it worked, but I was satisfied. Now I'm taking my Juvia's Place Primer, which I haven't seen in probably the last four or so months. But I ran across it in my beauty room. And it's number two, I believe. So as you can see, it's light, but not extremely light. And it really is a good base. It's kind of watery. So I made sure to like shake it up since I hadn't used it in so long but it really 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 is a good base so I need to play with this more now that I found it so I'm taking this Beauty Bay palette Sunset Horizon that I found in my stash to be honest guys the only way I'll probably use all this makeup is if I sit down and actually do videos with you guys because I hardly go anywhere so I can't say that I'll use this makeup to go XYZ because I know I'm not going anywhere so this is just my way of really digging into these products and using them so today I wanted to do a smoky but natural natural and neutral <laughs> I look I know that's a lot but that's the vision I had in my head I wanted it to be yeah I know I'm not a cool girl but I wanted a cool look I wanted a cool brown the cream shade and I'm only going to use two shades y'all know the drill I try to keep it simple so I took the brown shade which is a cool brown as you can see put that in my transition area as long as as well as my outer V I took the remainder whatever was left over on the back of my hand of that Juvia's face primer and put that on the center of my lid I had to get some more because I, I feel like I didn't have enough primer and this is just a random brush from Amazon that I used for this so I'm just filling in the blank space because I knew I wanted to put a cream shade down there and I wanted it to like really pop so then i go back in with my wet and wild blending brush to blend out those edges just to make sure i got the shape that i want and like all areas are covered everything is looking smooth and well blended and that's the cream shade so i took the cream shade and put that on the remainder of my lid i guess if you're like if you're paying attention to this this is a, also a way that you can fake a cut crease if you're not good with cut creases like myself this is a good way to do it in my opinion i feel like this looks like a semi cut crease but not like really really detailed so i'm taking my wet and wild brush blending brush again <laughs> and just blending in any areas where i feel like needed more blending so today i decided to try my original lacombe uh tint eat all foundation in the shade 495 only because i haven't used it in forever and this is just a eco tools flat very small foundation brush that i found in my stash i said well i'm going to try to swipe it because i see some videos where uh, makeup artists like swipe you know very gently swipe 
the foundation on the skin to give it, I guess, the illusion of skin versus having on a face full of makeup. So I'm showing y'all the brush and how it looked. I was, um, it could be a little bit bigger <laughs> because I felt like I took a lot of time because the brush was so small. So same shape, just a bigger brush. I think I'll be good. But overall, I'm satisfied. So I just take my sponge to make sure it's no streaks or anything. This is just my dirty car beauty sponge y'all know so i found my la girl in fawn concealer and i wanted a just a little bit of concealer i wanted this the eyes to do most of the work and then the face just to be like really really natural well not real natural y'all know i got on makeup but i wanted the face to be simple so i took my la girl in fawn and then i found my sephora uh, concealer and as you can see these shades are kind of kind of similar very similar I thought the Sephora was going to be a little bit brighter but it wasn't and I was okay with that I'll always put the shades and everything in the description box below so you guys will know um, and then I took my Thread Beauty foundation stick in 210. As you all, if you've been looking at my videos, you know that I have been using this a lot lately versus my Morphe Effect stick in number 18. So yeah, I'm happy for that. I'm actually going through products that I never thought I would go through. And this right here, I'm using a Car Beauty sponge. This sponge was not wet. It was not wet so I'm using that to blend out the concealer just making sure everything is blended and kind of just going together meshing together marrying together I sprayed my face and that's why I sprayed my face because the sponge wasn't damp I didn't feel like getting up to wet it <laughs> too lazy yeah this was a five o'clock work morning so it was just me getting ready for work so I take my foundation brush and I continue to blend out these edges of, you know, just making sure everything is together. And I also found my little small miniature Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is the original, the first one, the OG of them all. So I took that and I'm just setting the concealer. I prefer this one over that honey one that I have. This one is just... It's just marvelous. And then the honey, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm taking whatever I did to the top of my eyelid and doing that to the bottom to smoke it out. Not really too much, not not like nighttime smoke it out, but just like a soft smoke. <laughs> like a soft smoke just to make my eyes like pop just a little bit more. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just taking that, smudging it out. And this is the blush from J Cat Beauty in Terracotta that I picked up from also for like two dollars and something. So I took that and used it. I wanted to use the orange shade, and as you can see, it's extremely pigmented. I don't know what they put in these blushes. <laughs> I went for my no blush girl so I will blush every day like I'm used to it and knowing I was like when did I become this girl that loves a blush so yeah then I take my Juvia's Place in deep dark bronze um, trio and I took the lighter shade and I'm just using that to sculpt and give my face some definition this is probably one of my most like steps of doing makeup to bronze i love to bronze love it love it love it so then i took my powder brush and i used my makeup forever face powder in y505 to set the remainder of my face love that powder also it seems like i'm never going to finish that powder for whatever reason i don't know so yeah just taking that and then spray my face again with my nyx bear with me which i'm almost out but i'm gonna go to Ulta during the fall haul and pick up two of them because it's buy two get one free and then i'm using my elf lip primer to make sure my lips are good and ready to go i decided to line my lips today with this juvia place chocolate liquid lipstick i think it came from the chocolate collection yeah i see that collection the bronze collection or something so that's what I line my lips with today only because I wanted to try something else versus using a lip liner so I decided to and as you can see it's really creamy and pigmented y'all know I fall in love with the good brown 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna take this Glam Shine. I don't even know. I kiss New York. Gloss on the Beauty Supply Store. Trying to see what shade is in. Oh, Nutty Nude. Nutty Nude. Of course, it got some gold sparkles in it. I was going to do a, a matte lip, but I'm like, all right, I'm all the way matte now. I can't give me some shine. Well, that, that was. I think this is my first time trying that Juvia's Place liquid lipstick too. It actually stays where you put it. I got stuff everywhere. Everywhere. When I say everywhere, everywhere. It probably wouldn't hurt for me to put something light in the center. I'll take this. Uh, Oh, that's a lip gloss. I don't want a gloss. I want a matte. Hold on. I'm going to take this Juvia's Place Matte Lipstick and Mute It. It's in the center. Yeah. I think I'm falling back in love with these Juvia Place uh, lipsticks because I've been picking them up a lot lately. I got away from them for a while. And now I'm back. So guys, this is the completed smoky neutral look. I guess you could say very simple. As you can see, I only use two shadows from a from the Beauty Day palette, Sun Sunset Horizons, and they actually are pigmented. So a soft smoky eye is easy to achieve if you were trying to. The key is just making sure you keep blending, blending, blending. And y'all know I have to go back to my edges if I could find my blending brush. Here it is. And I always, when I finish my look, just catch any corners, any, any place I feel like I'm looking in the mirror and I can see like it's not blended like completely. Cause I'm real good for that. Like I'll stop blending halfway through because my arms are tired. <laughs> Make sure you get the inner part of the eye like that, and we are good to go. So drop down and let me know what's your favorite go-to smoky colors, like or what palette you use to create the simple look. Because this look probably took me like 20 minutes to complete. There wasn't a lot of thinking at all, and I think it came out good. Good for work, and it's time to go. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.